It was about time you washed your ship, Dr. Spooky. Oh, but not like that. You're wasting so much water. Dr. Spooky, turn off the water when you're not using the hose. And the Spookers are playing with it. Hey, don't you all know the consequences of wasting water? Oh, great. A million ways to waste water. Seriously? You have water balloons too? This is too much. You're drying up the lake. Who will the mermaid call? Yes, the Super Zoo team. Let's see how we can solve this problem. We need to do everything we can to turn off the water. That way the lake can go back to being full again. To the transformation capsules. is worse than we thought. There those shameless brutes are. No! Hold on, Super Zoo team! Great, Caddy! Na 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 na! Caddy is unbeatable! Ha-ha! That's it! Good idea, monkey. That way the water will stop coming out of the hose. Where do you think you're going, Dr. Spooky? Oh no, it looks like there's too much pressure. It's time to turn off the water. Hmm. wins again! Oh! We have to shut it off! Yes! Just in time! Why are you all angry? Oh, of course! Just one more thing! What? Ha ha! Justice for Dr. Spooky! Bon voyage! Right! The lake is still empty! What a good idea, Kangoo! Nature in all its splendor. Is there anything more beautiful? Good teamwork is always so satisfying. Time to celebrate. <laughs> Dr. Spooky, you're invited to. Welcome to Kit's Learning Corner. Today, we'll learn a new way to help the ecosystem. We 
brush our teeth every day, or at least we should. And sometimes when we are brushing, we leave the tap running. We waste lots and lots of water this way. Hey, everybody! With something as simple as turning off the water while we brush, we can make the world a better, more sustainable place. That's it, kids. Great! If we change little things in our day to day lives, we can help our planet. Let's save the environment together! Dr. Spooky is having a picnic. Yuck! He's gonna eat a greasy hamburger. Oops, guess not. How about that milkshake? Nope, not that either. Will he be able to eat the ice cream? Haha! <laughs> In your dreams! Wow! Dr. Spooky doesn't like nature at all! And nature doesn't like Dr. Spooky at all either! What's this? Why is he summoning his robot? Wait a minute! Dr. Spooky is uprooting all the trees in the forest with his robot! Yes, Granny! Just as you can see, Dr. Spooky's up to his shenanigans again! Let's go, Super Zoo Team! We have to stop him! Show us how on your computer. Aha! Caddy and Monkey need to press that button to control the robot. To the transformation capsules! Second. Great! Monkey has stopped the trees! Now we're going to protect the environment! Nice aim, Caddy! See you later, Dr. Spooky! Great job, Caddy! You're the best! Now what, Dr. Spooky? There's the button! Don't let him get away! Ha-ha! Gotcha! Come on, Caddy! It's time to bring the forest back to life! We have to replant! Get up, Mr. Robot. We have to fix what Dr. Spooky messed up. Tree by tree, the forest goes back to being what it was, and no evil human will damage it again. Lovingly, everything is put back into place, and the Super Zoo team wins again! Haha! <laughs> 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 Nature is precious. That's why we have to take care of it. Welcome to Kit's Learning Corner. Today we're going to learn about deforestation. The disappearance of plants is called deforestation. The trees are the shield that keeps pollution from reaching the atmosphere. Unfortunately, the levels of pollution keep rising and there are less and less trees. 
If there are no trees to keep the clouds of pollution in check, the sunbeams can't bounce back into space and are trapped on Earth. This is why the temperature is going up uncontrollably. Pollution makes us sick. Many living creatures also lose their homes when trees disappear. But it's not too late. How can we end deforestation? Planting trees and taking care of those that already exist. Picking up all of our trash to keep the trees from getting sick. Learning to love nature and showing all of our friends to do the same. Let's save the environment together! Today is beach day. Don't forget the sunscreen, kids. What? Uh-oh. What's Dr. Spooky doing here? He's released some robot insects. And they're putting chips into the people at the beach's heads. What's your plan this time? He has a baton. Oh, and he can control everyone who has a chip with it. He's so evil. He's making everyone get the beach dirty. No, kids, don't litter. Oh, my gosh. You're so bad, Dr. Spooky. No, no, no. We have to do something. What a disaster. Dr. Spooky is destroying the environment. Someone stop him. There's the Super Zoo team. Aha! If we can remove the chips from the people, they will stop obeying Dr. Spooky's orders to litter to the transformation capsules. Dr. Spooky. Monkey and Kangoo made a springboard to reach Dr. Spooky. What a good idea! Go get him, Kangoo. We have to get the baton away from him. What? Why do you want to draw a portrait of Dr. Spooky, Kangoo? How vain. Oh, now I get it. You're trying to distract him. Ha-ha! <laughs> Monkey swapped the baton with a banana. See you later, Dr. Spooky. Let's go, Super Zoo team. We have to remove the chips from the people's heads before Dr. Spooky catches up to you. Now, Cat. 
Patty has control. And she's going to make the minions help clean up the beach. But where does each kind of trash go? Kangoo has the answer. Glass goes in the green bin, paper in the blue one, and plastic in the yellow one. It's time to recycle. Yay! Let's go, kids. We need to clean the beach. And Dr. Spooky can't do anything to stop it. You'll think twice next time. Everyone works together and leaves the beach spotless. Remember to do it too, kids, when you go enjoy a day by the sea. The environment will be eternally grateful. One more thing. Ha-ha! Bye-bye, Dr. Spooky. It feels so great to take care of our planet. Welcome to Kit's Learning Corner. Today we're going to learn about recycling. I'm sure you've seen different colored bins close to your house. Those are for recycling, and the colors tell us what kind of recycling goes in each. Food scraps and other waste that's organic, which means it comes from living things, should go into the general dumpster. The trash in the recycling bins are taken to a recycling plant. There, the material is melted down or turned into paper. Afterward, this melted material is used to make new items we can use. The best thing about this process is that it can be done over and over. Come on, kids, let's recycle. Let's save the environment together. <laughs> Monkey and Caddy are playing with slime. And Dr. Spooky is spying on them. What is he up to this time? Hmm. A bowl, a bottle of glue, a mortar and pestle, detergent, and a strange green ingredient. Dr. Spooky is making slime! Yuck! His mixture looks like a giant booger! Oops! It seems like he's forgetting something! What's up with the minions? They want to add detergent to the mix! <laughs> Dr. Spooky almost caught them! There they go again! Oh! No! No! Quick, now's your chance. Let's mess with Dr. Spooky a little bit. That's it. <laughs> um, it seems like something is wrong. Oh, uh-oh. Super slime bath. Someone's going to have to really clean up his laboratory. Welcome back to Dr. Spooky's Talent Show with our esteemed panel of judges, the Pitiless Minions. Next, Dr. Spooky will go behind that curtain and will come out transformed into someone completely different. Oh my, the dark side makes its appearance on stage. Look at the handsome suit on this gentleman from the dark side. Fitted pants and that elegant cape. What a unique style. A masterful execution of the chicken burrito pose. On his feet again, Dr. Spooky coughs. Coughs more and even more. No one said being a villain was easy. Come on, Dr. Spooky, don't worry. It's over, it's over. That's it. Did you really expect more points? Wow, why would you need a car when you can use the force? 
You'll need to try with another costume. Oh my God! <sighs> Here we have the Ice Princess. Heart-stopping choreography, dramatic flair, impeccable delivery. Even a snowman. What else could you want from this performance? <laughs> No, you won't do it, Dr. Spooky. Tell me you won't. Not that dance. Ha-ha! Uh, 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 you got frozen. <laughs> Let's try again, then. Dr. Spooky looks for something to impress the judges with. But he didn't find anything. What? Three tens! The minions love him just the way he is. Happy Halloween! <laughs> Trick or treat, Caddy! <laughs> treat, of course! Uh oh, someone is watching us! Dr. Spooky wants lots of candy! Uh, what are those costumes they're wearing? Well, the truth is, they're pretty funny! They're at the door, kids! <laughs> And there they are, Frankenstein and his wife. And in the meantime, Dr. Spooky is going through with his plan. He's going to sneak through the window. But isn't he a little old for things like this? Dr. Spooky has definitely seen better days. What's his spooker got there? A radio? What? Well, let the show begin, I guess. <laughs> what a show! <laughs> and there goes Dr. Spooky, rolling like a meatball. That's a lot of candy. Uh-oh, he's going to grab it. Ah, watch out for the zombie. I've never met such a clumsy villain. Dr. Spooky wanted a treat, but he definitely got a trick instead. Au revoir. Wait a minute. We still need to find out who the zombie is. Ah, it was you, Kit. Happy Halloween, kids. Fruits are great to do. 
This is so fun. The Super Zoo team organized a bike race for today. Wow, that's quite a course. What? What is Dr. Spooky doing here? Doesn't he have his own plans? He's such a nuisance. He wants to participate in the race with his ship. That cheater is so cocky. Good thing Caddy always has good ideas. Let's see if Kit can help us beat Dr. Spooky. Good idea! We can use renewable energy so the bikes go faster. We'll show you, Dr. Spooky. The wind and the sun are on our side. The Super Zoo team is going to have some super bicycles. They're so cool. And for Caddy, a super apple. So she has lots of energy to win. To the transformation capsules. is here, Dr. Spooky. You're going to be sorry you challenged them to a race. Mm -hmm. On your marks, get set. Dr. Spooky took off before the signal. I told you he was a cheater. Watch out, monkey. That's a lot of power. Hey, we need the sun to wake up so that it charges up Kangoo's bike. <laughs> Rise and shine, son of mine. Huh? Yay, there are the sunbeams in all their splendor. Time for some speed. Let's go, Caddy. It's time to pedal the way you know how to. Cloud of smoke is going to keep the Super Zoo team from seeing the road. Come on, monkey. Friends are always there to help each other out. Caddy is going really fast. It seems like she's going to overtake Dr. Spooky. What? A trampoline? Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. Come on, kids. You have to keep going. That's it, Spookers. Get out of here. Uh-oh. What? Of course, if the sunlight doesn't reach Kangoo's bike, he can't go fast. Dr. Spooky is going to win the race thanks to his cheating. What is Kangoo drawing? Great idea. He's going to use the mirrors to reflect the sunbeams so they hit the solar panels. Surprise, Dr. Spooky. It's impossible to keep up with him. 
Unless he runs out of gas. That's it. Ha <laughs> ha. See you later, alligator. And the Super Zoo team wins the race. Bravo! That's a well-deserved trophy. How ridiculous. See you next time. Or not. Welcome to Kit's Learning Corner. There are two types of energy sources, renewable ones and non-renewable ones. The non-renewable ones are oil, coal, and natural gas. These energy sources cause a lot of pollution, and we will run out of them someday. Oops. On the other hand, we have renewable energy sources. The most important ones are solar, wind, and hydraulic. These energy sources don't pollute, and planet Earth will always be able to produce them. If we stop using coal and natural gas and use renewable energies instead, it will make planet Earth a cleaner, more sustainable place. Let's save the environment together. 